Uligan Press is proud to announce the release of our upcoming nonfiction title, Tribal Histories of the Willamette Valley, by David G. Lewis, available in stores and online November 14, 2023. Informed by extensive research as well as Lewis's perspective as a member of the Confederated Tribes of Grand Ronde and a descendant of the Santium, Chinook, Malala, and Takelma peoples of Western Oregon, Tribal Histories of the Willamette Valley seeks to undo the erasure of Indigenous history in Oregon. When I began uh, reading the history of my tribe, I, I had a lot of questions, most of which could not be answered with the published records. So I hunted down most of the accounts and began writing. And in time, I had enough about the Californians I thought I, I should be, uh, it should be available to everybody. Most of my life and the lives of generations of my tribal relatives, we have been thought of and spoken about in very racist, stereotypical uh, ways. I think most of the issues are in the fact a uh, few people really know and understand the history of uh, tribal people, what they experienced during settlement, and the enormous losses during and after the reservation period. Native communities, too, at times struggled to understand how and why their people ended up in poverty. The, the, real, the real struggle with equality uh, in, in the United States. I hope the book will be an avenue to understanding, respect, and reconciliation at some level. I did not limit myself to one type of source and really was omnivorous about where I got my history. I also began years ago during my, my bachelor's degree to archive and digitize all the accounts I found in my research. After more than 30 years, my archive is huge and I continue to find new sources every year. Archival research complements well my ethno history work and, and many of the accounts I find are very rare and were not replicated elsewhere. And so are lost in archives and libraries. Bringing back these stories brings our history full circle back into current knowledge. I am rarely surprised as I find I can predict what likely happened during the event in the 1850s. I am surprised at times when I find transcriptions of what Native people have said buried in federal records that have been available for researchers for more than 100 years. And I find uh, no one have, have used these records at all. This occurred recently when I found two treaty signature pages from the 1855 well, not Valley Treaty, they were scanned into the federal microfilm records available in many archives. I was shocked to find them. I had actually found and collected them years before I realized what they were and had a note in my memory that I needed to go back and understand what treaty they referred to. Then I realized they were the missing uh, signatures of the treaty and I was really floored. Um, I didn't realize that nobody had ever uh, noticed that these are related to that Willamette Valley Treaty. It was, it was pretty amazing. Pieces about my tribal ancestors of the Saniam are very special to me. Finding where your people have lived for potentially hundreds of generations or more than 15,000 years is truly extraordinary. I think it has been necessary for me to understand how and why and to what end the research on my people has, was conducted. Understanding the foibles and pitfalls of early studies helped me understand where some theory may have not been quite correct. Don't get me wrong, the early research on the tribes did, did collect meaningful context and information, but sometimes biases, uh, the silences and the missing content is meaningful too. That's why I don't stop with with any, uh, with any only um, anthropological sources because journal accounts and historical uh, sources may hold a different perspective, which will fill in silences around a tribe. It's very important to critically analyze everything because it's all biased at some level, but perhaps I can find a grain of something important by looking at a variety. I work to practice uh, ethnography then by fully understanding the context within which the original research took place. That everything they thought they knew is likely not exactly correct. I hope this spurs them on to do more reading and research and to begin to question what they know.